Okay, hello everybody. Welcome back to another Let's Play commentary with your host Whizbro100 along with Hitman again. So today we're going to be playing a game called Tharsis. Uh, and if you looked up what that word means, it's a uh, it's a term for volcanoes on Mars. And this game def definitely involves Mars and going into space. Well, I was mostly familiar with the term catharsis, which is like a purging of emotion. So I'm guessing a tharsis is just a purging of lava from the core of Mars. Hmm, interesting way of looking at that, but yes. So, this game, it's about a mission to Mars, because that's been done like, that hasn't been done like hundreds of times. But it's a yeah, setup, well, we'll so what are you going to do? It, uh, well, we'll see how it, how it plays out. interesting with this. Well, I gotta say, it, it did do something interesting, because I actually bought it, not by itself though, I bought it from a humble bundle. Alright. Uh, Okay, so yeah, the mission is to get to Mars, and the and the whole point is you have to survive your way to Mars. So this game is kind of like FTL, where you gotta make it to uh, one point from one end of the universe to the other end of it, except minus all that stuff. With the whole space, these... pirates all, space pirates. Glad to see stuff. that all these guys are looking thoroughly confused. These guys will be the characters that you can bring on your mission that will help uh, make certain aspects of like the events that happen easier. So I decided to go through the tutorial here so that uh, you guys get the idea of like how this game plays out and whatnot. Yeah, compared to our FTL video, this one isn't quite as long. So. Oh yeah, no. definitely. Not sure how to interpret that one. We'll just have to see. So that so that ship we see is. Uh, Okay, I was going to say the ship was called Tharsis, but that didn't make any sense. But essentially, you got to survive like seven weeks to Mars. So you got to keep your crew and the ship alive here, and this tutorial is telling us uh, how and what to do. So every turn, there are these events that happen that will cause certain things to occur. The uh, red bar over there indicates that it will do damage to the ship based on whatever is going on. And you can see the effects underneath the numbers. So you've got a system failure in the tank. Which just prevents the abilities in that uh, in that one room. There are several rooms. Or they, they call it something else, but uh, a module. In every room slash module, it has certain effects that will help the team out. So this is like FTL, except you're fighting random mechanical failure instead of... Uh, and events in space, like, like meteors, showers, and such. But yes. I, I'm not expecting any space pirates in a situation like this where getting to Mars is a difficult thing, but yeah, we'll see what happens. We won't get pirates, but we will get a lot of dice rolling, and this kind of has, uh, this is, um, this game would make for a very fun board, or, I wouldn't say fun, but definitely a very interesting board game I would play. Yeah, I don't really know this... A randomized space simulator is not a, a genre I, would, I tend to go back to very often. Oh, really? Yeah, it's just like you you go to this new place, choose an action, and then each action has just an option to like fail or succeed and could possibly fuck you over no matter what you do. Based on luck and not actual skill? Yeah. Yeah, that's you know what that's that's what I thought with this game too because I was actually having like real difficulties beating this game on uh, on normal. Then I dumbed down to easy, and I was still having difficulty with beating it. Uh, the yeah. whole point of this is the whole point of like or let's see the um what's it called the answer to surviving in on this journey to Mars is uh n is not to rely on luck and is to just um. Work out a plan that would have everyone survive. Ah, oh, that's not making any sense. I'm trying to think. Oh. It's possible to prepare for the bad things that happen, I'm guessing. Yes, yes. It's possible to, like, to survive uh, certain events without without having to rely on luck. It's based on uh, managing and a, whole, and a few other aspects, which um, I, only realized, I only noticed that after I looked up, like, uh, stuff on the game. And I was like, you don't have to rely on luck, and yes, while the, the game can sometimes cheat you on the luck, it's not necessary. Oh yeah, after every event, you get to, to this point where you can choose a side project for, 
that gives you some decisions on what you can do. So we can either get more food or and have it do one damage to the hall for some reason. Climb toward the second option right now. And the second option gives two dice for one person and ten percent stress for them. Stupid. Yeah, it's, it's, you know what's even stupider? The the stress they may the the stress bar in this game where uh, you know when I first played this game I thought stress was gonna be a big thing like um like it'll cause negative negative um, attributes to your crew member because too much stress is bad, right? Right. But what I find out later on in this, in like through the course of playing this game, is that stress does not matter a lot at all. So whenever it gives you like an option where it's like, oh, I I I'll threaten to be more stressful in this situation, it's like, oh, well, I I found out that it actually it does nothing of real consequences. So just just whenever it says like, oh, it'll give me give them more stress, just take the stressed option. It's an interesting option. Uh the game chooses to have actual dice on the screen showing you the chance outcome of what you've done instead of just calculating that stuff in the background like any other game would do. Yeah, like a board game. And that's what I, um, and I that's that why I, the style here. and that's why I kind of would have, would like to see like a board game version of this. Like a cooperative. Do you actually move spaces? Do you like move to find spaces on a board or are you just watching yourself float? Uh, you get, like I said, you get to move to different modules, and each module does something. Like, some of them will give you food for your uh, crew member to uh, eat to recover dices. You don't you don't actually have to eat, is the thing I find just a little weird. Like, you survive a week without eating? Like, no way. Can we see, like, an overall map of our progress, though? Because it just, uh, just yeah. seems like we're... Yeah, you do see, uh... You do eventually... Oh, actually, no. You do see it, it's just that it's being covered up by the where the event complete is uh hovering over huh okay now basically there are like f uh every week is a turn in the game and every turn there's an uh, there's something bad that happens there's never a turn where nothing bad happens oh yeah i actually thought hmm? what the hell the i actually thought that said metroid proximity alert which would have made <laughs> this a much more interesting game Oh, this is this is the prequel to uh the metroid game anyway so the pantry exploded which uh is the thing that kind of bothered me in this game is because uh, that, there's that because now you never ever get to use that module ever again cause... oh he got pierced by that laser beam yes the laser beam right and suddenly four new people appear there's I guess out of hyper people? out of a uh, well, hypersleep well, that sucks you don't want people to show up as soon as your pantry explodes yeah they're probably all asleep now you see the thing yeah. on you see the thing on top of like where the deploy crew is underneath that is like how many weeks oh yeah it takes to get to Mars so that's your turn hmm. so now there are things we ten more weeks to go yeah so it wasn't seven like I said I lied so this is a life support where it gets gives you more dices to roll which is a good thing you want your guys to have a lot of dices to roll so that your chances of succeeding are better uh oh okay that's not too not too bad. Looks like you have enough to repair it. Yep, I can repair it. And that blue thing you saw up there was a negative effect that um, that would have did some do something to the dice to make it uh, not as useful. You'll see some later on. Now the thing I did with that number six dice to put into the right, uh, each module has a has a thing you can do, and the and the captain was in the the stress the relaxation module. So putting that there causes Oh wow! Look, that roll is amazing. I gotta I gotta say right here, in the relaxation bar, it reduced his stress. Now, in the food pantry part, um, I got three ones. Which uh, you you see that place where like you can put a dice? You said like equation or the equal sign, right? You have to have the same, the exact same number to uh to put another dice right there. Oh, I see. I see. So, so now you're gonna get two. And that doesn't work because it's not a four. I needed a four in order to use like, to use a, uh, to get the life support effect. So we take a hit right here. Oh, and ever after every turn, there's a little bit of story going on. Yeah. So is it all? Are these story bits always the same? Or it's always the same. The... It's always the same, oh, okay. which is kind of a dis disappointment. Oh, decision. Right. What will I choose? Will I give us more health, or will? I give one dice for all crew, but everyone loses loses some health. Uh, I'd probably choose the health on this option, but 
You can see the health on the bottom right for most of them. Yeah, these I guys got low health hit. already. So next I will try to put them into... Wait, do I put them into the... Oh, the medical... The medical module is, uh... Is now in trouble. Time to roll some dice. Yep, time to roll some dices. Yeah, so I'm gonna fix this part. Sequential shunt unit. This is where oh, you... Oh, that's not so good. Should provide voltage regulations. Oh, it's right it's on like the you top. you got exactly enough. Yes, I have just enough. And those those negative effects right there, that orange one, if I rolled a 5, it would have damaged me, which is uh, not good. Oh, okay. Blue ones will uh, cause stasis where you can't roll your dices anymore, and the purple ones will uh, remove your dice from the game, which is also bad. No, I didn't roll a 6. I didn't sound roll. very fortunate. I didn't roll well, a at least six. Didn't here. roll a six. So. Although she, she could have probably survived it. Yeah. She. The yeah. Kayla. Oh, it's Kayla. I, I couldn't. I could barely see the name, and the face is like so blurry for me. Oh yes, they're they're all wearing like. I didn't know uh, they had colored spacesuits. I, I, I thought everyone wore the same thing. It's a new. Uh... New innovation in space fashion. Hmm, yes indeed. So right here, now... Oh, I guess I didn't take him to the medical, uh... bay. Oh, you see right there the... Oh yeah, uh, you I also... can't roll anymore. No, no, actually, if you look on top, near the assist, the assist prevents, uh... up to three effects from happening, if I have a assist... Yeah. Assist appearing. Alright, Oh, so... look at that. Got that event. And on the bottom left of the research project, it lets you, uh, it gives you special abilities that you can see on the bottom left of, like, uh... Time to roll some dice to get your health back. Yes. I got a five, so now I can use health recover and get full health. And use the extra dice for the, or at least one of them, for the research project. Nifty. Yes, that, that'll give you, like, certain abilities depending on what's available. And I can't put any more of that. Oh, the snake eyes. So I could have gotten, so I can get three foods right now, or have a module that repairs, or a thing that repairs uh, 17 points of damage on the ship, like instantly without having to roll. More story. Well, yeah, that crew is rolling dice like champions. I, I Apparently this ship is also a casino. Minus one dice, you do not want that. Yeah, this is like that vault in uh, Fallout New Vegas. Of course. Where everything is decided, everything is decided by gambling. <laughs> Sounds like a two faces kind of two faces uh, kind of thing where it's like a yeah deciding everything by coin toss. Coin, coin toss. So you always want to have have at least four dices in this game. Oh, there's a void. Uh, Twenty seven. Yeah, that's that's, that's going to take a lot. And what it does is. Minus one health for all, so if I don't fix it, everyone would uh, take one damage every single turn. And it looks like uh, uh, that the guy in the yellow spacesuit yeah. is probably going to die if I don't fix it. Yeah, not going to not gonna go so well for him. Just enough to fix it. I'm going to roll again to see if I can put stuff into the research. Nope. Yeah, if you, if you use the three and the one, you could have uh, put the four in the research projects. Uh, no, you can't. It has to be the exact, like, number dice. And I no, but it. you could you could use the three and the four, or you you could use the three and the one to solve the problem, and then use the four to uh, on the research project. Oh, you mean use the seventeen? Yeah, yeah, I guess you can. Didn't think about All that. Right, Twenty-seven. Can you do it? It's gonna be tough, and if I roll a one or three, that causes stasis. I hate the dices Ooh, can no. actually roll onto each other and actually ruin it. Oh, the dice hold right there holds, like, your best dice, so you don't have to accidentally re-roll yeah. certain dices, which I like. Yeah, it doesn't look like you have enough. And, uh, all the crew members, except for a certain one, can can have can have more than, uh... Wait, hang on. All crew members only ha can roll two dice, can, like, re-roll their, their dices twice, except for the one in purple, who look looks like uh, Ripley from Aliens. Yeah, well, well, uh, I guess she's used to worse crises, so she can she can handle this. She's like, eh, whatever. Yeah, you've seen where she's faced aliens. Like I've seen, like I, meteor. Pff, come on, I've se I've seen worse. All right, so finally I've I get been this. In the trenches, 
Finally, I get this guy over here. Oh yeah, the five arrow up means it has to be numbers five and higher in order to actually use the thing. Oh, he also has a special ability. This guy, uh, if you repair have the hole, yeah, he can repair the hole if you have a dice roll that's five or higher, which is uh, quite useful. Sounds like it. So yeah, the hole is in the upper left corner, and I'm guessing if that ever goes down, yes. you just die. Yeah, you instantly die if the entire ship. Uh, takes way too much damage. Makes sense. I mean, you don't want to be floating out in space. You don't want to be using explosive decompression. Like this guy, or this is one of this is one of those more strict takes on uh, space travel, where SD. you actually do die if you, you know, have a puncture wound in your ship. Ah, and then there's the cannibalism where you eat can eat dead crew members. Ooh. Which uh, anyone died yet? The you remember in the tutorial, one of them died. Oh, okay. So yes, you, so they're eating you him. Meat from the dead guy. And if you eat, like, and if you use cannibalism, you lose one health, but you do get, like, some dices back. <laughs> Which, honestly, is, uh, you should do it. Because all, all yeah. oh, yeah, it also gives you, gives your crew member higher stress, which, like I said, does nothing of, like, real consequences. Yeah. So, yeah, this isn't the, uh, the cowboy bebop take on, on space, where you can just sort of open up your spaceship's hatch and jump out. Float around in space. Nope. Be perfectly unharmed. Really wish more people took that, uh, that stance on space. You just, like, float, or you just, like, float around in it. Ah, you see, I used the That's research thing to instantly fix it. Now I'm gonna take advantage of this to, uh, oh, look at that! All fives. So now I get to fix the thing, oh, look at that. To, to maximum. Uh, maximum hole. Nice. Yes. So, so got lucky there, definitely. Now, the thing uh, I, I learned while playing this game multiple times is that you don't have to fix everything in one turn. If, like, a crew member is, like, uh, doing really badly, like they have low health or low dice rolls, you should get them to, like, the life support room to get more dice rolls and to the health right. room to get more health so that they don't, they don't die. Get your priorities straight. Well, it's essentially. You regain dice using a die. Uh, in the, in that one room, it was the life support room, and you regain dice for. Oh, you see the dice turn red because she she cannibalized. Terrible person. Oh, I I see. I just guess she just likes to play with her food. Once again, triple triple uh, roll, so I got two foods here, which nice. is quite lucky. But yeah, very and... lucky run. If if on the on the right side you can see like uh, the dice the dice holes right there they'll tell you what you get if you um if you put your dices in there. And I see the research project is just sort of a get out of jail free thing. You can spend points to get things. Yes, or you could spend points to re-roll it so that you can get something different. So I decided to bring bring this guy here to lower his stress down because uh, even though I did say the stress doesn't really do anything it does do one tiny thing where they get really illogical and like uh, during the choose a side event you don't get really good options to pick from yeah oh, spoilers oh, oh, you mean you mean the like every single time you have to choose between one or the other yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll, they'll they'll have something like something unreasonable, like oh, if we don't do this, I'm gonna do this. Like, um, oh, like there's you're gonna have to choose between crew members. Is that what you're gonna have to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like what we've been doing, but like if you have, but if they have high stress, they'll do something like uh, they'll do something like where they'll where they will kill themselves, and you obviously don't want that. Huh. Hmm. I think the minus thirty percent stress for all crew would have been better in that case. It yeah, looks it like is. you've got hold to spare. Oh, and you can also kill a crew member for you can food. Kill someone to, yeah. but, but like, food's not that impor important. Is another thing, and that's kind of what yeah, bothered really, me a little bit. It doesn't really sound like you're in that much stress right now for food, anyway. Nope. Kind of pointless. No, I'm not. Like the food does help. Don't get me wrong. It's just like it, it feels kind of a little. It feels a little weird for a person to not eat for like two, three weeks at a time. Yeah, I don't know. If I'm gonna be if I'm gonna be cannibal cannibalized on a ship, it better be better be in a time of need. It better not be just because yeah, I felt like having some more garnish today. Which in the case of this game, that's definitely the case. 
Yeah, definitely not the most serious take on that. Compare this game to like that, that Sunless Sea. Oh, uh, I... another sort of FTLS game. I've heard of that game. Oh, you see what the stasis did right there? All those dices are paralyzed, and yep. I can't roll them. Can't really. It's... I can't really get anything above five here. Yeah, it's those are really bad, and the stasis. I don't think they they ever like go up to past three. Because it would be kind of awesome if the stasis would, like, would trigger if you roll the six. Because it's like, the higher number, of, of course you want the higher numbers. Yeah, but then it'll end up being not beneficial for you. No, oh, if, nope. if it was just stasis. If it was the void, those are terrible because they eat your dice away and you can't re-roll them. Huh. Let's yeah, see um, if we can get some food here. Oh, look! I can't really say this game's that exciting. It just seems like you go, you go, you roll a dice, you go, you roll some dice, and yeah. Hopefully you, you survive the, the event. Some more dice. Oh yeah, so there's a little story going on where they're when they're approaching Mars, they're getting these weird signals from Mars, and they find that uh, hey, are those guys us? And the ending is really lame. I gotta say. Oh, so is it? So is it Moon? Wait, Moon. Uh, you ever see the the movie Moon starring? Uh... What was his name Sam Rockwell? Nope. Oh, it's about a guy who was hired to do a three-year mining expedition on the moon, and uh, at the end of his at the end of his three years, uh, he's about to die. But then he realizes that uh, he's actually a clone of somebody that did it before. Oh, see, now that's a twist. No, it's nothing so like actually, that. So actually, what they've been doing instead of hiring new people to do the job. They've just kept cloning the guy that did the job before, and then just replicated all of the, you know, replicated all of the factors involved with him, with him doing the job, so that they could just repeat the same three years again. Oh wow! Well, hmm. So, so there's no, so there's no risk, and they don't have to pay anyone. They don't have to pay anyone else to do it. Hmm. It was an interesting movie because you've, you've got two people that are. Oh man! Look at that. Ouch. Two, be two people that are thinking uh, somebody else is the clone. When in fact that they're also the clone themselves. Yeah, they're both clones. Oh, seems like I decided to go for another roll and I end up hurting myself oh, again. again. That was a really bad roll when I that hurt. got hit by all all three. Maybe when you roll a dice and you just the, they just bounce off the ground and just come and smack you in the face. It's really annoying. Hmm, that's a funny way to interpret it. Oh, I rolled the dice too hard. Yeah, the the bloody dice. Do, do these do these dice ever ever lose the blood? Nope. Cuz uh much like in uh, Fallout, uh you've you've done a crime against humanity by eating somebody. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit of a hammy way to take to illustrate that point. I, I think it's an interesting uh, detail. Like, oh, your dices have turned bloody. Ah, it's, it's, it's kind of different because the guy the guy died. It's not like you killed him for food. He he just died, and now you're making use of the meat out in space. Uh, I, that, uh, I guess uh, unreasonable. Well, I guess you rationalized it in your in your own way. Other people would have called you called you heartless for that or something like that. But hey, they got to do no, what they got to do to survive. And that's what it's I different. told I mean, them to do. It's different. It's it's usually like you draw straws, and then whoever draws the shortest straw has to die so the other guys can survive. It reminds me of that one vault in Fallout where it's like if like everyone was like whoever is elected the overseer has is it's just killed, basically yeah. who's supposed to die. But when the answer is to not do that, yeah, it's not so much that as as it is like there's a time of need, and it's either everyone dies or one person dies. So you you choose. Have one person die instead. Tough choices. Although, yeah, in this case, it's just it's not quite as bad as I'm saying because you're you're not actually killing the person yourself. Like they they just died, and then you're making use of the meat. Yeah, although you can com actually do that where you kill people. Yeah, it's true. I I just I just don't know that it's necessarily. That bad, that bad. What they did that you should, you, they should be eternally reminded of it with these bloody dice. Oh, once, once. I don't you... know why they put your dice in your pocket when you eat. Come on, you. 
get the meat all over it. Once you cannibal, once you go red, you never go back. Even though it's supposed to be a different color, I know. Yes, you don't. Oh yeah, you do unlock somebody if you uh, cannibalize. So there's also another reason to cannibalize. You unlock somebody. If you eat enough meat, you un you unlock a cannibal uh, cannibal as a character. Huh. And basically for like, for like future playthroughs, you mean? Yes. If oh. you ever play want to play this game again, which I mm, I'm gonna say probably not, because once you beat it once, that's it. The higher difficulties just make it more difficult to go through the same story again. And I don't really, I don't really enjoy that type of stuff. It's not really good replay value. Yeah, it's yeah, it's if it's the same story every time. Like, the the good thing about these games, is you can come up with with cool stories about like, you can sort of fill in the blanks yourself, and you can uh, you can have that story about how in FTL, you know, you you ran into like three slaver ships after another, and you just had to kill them all. And like every time, it was always uh, the mantis and and the mantis and Angie at the same yeah. time. Yeah. That's yeah, the story have, that have happened there. Like but here it's just, yeah, it's the same story. Not even, not like not that particularly good of a story. Trust me, like once you've seen it, it's it's really not that great. Like it, it kinda, it's just kind of, just kind of. I would consider it a big fuck you, but when we get to there, uh, you 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 decide whether the ending to this game um, is. Ooh, I'm waiting. Is what it is. I'm just gonna say, don't expect too much. And rolling some dice. Well, I'm I'm expecting a lot now. Oh, oh, oh got one. Okay, you can grab one food. That first dice that went into the container didn't count, but the second one uh, gets you one piece of food. Yeah, I can't use them for research projects. So that sucks. No, nope, because those are filled up unless I use a bit. But you got some food. Some extra food, which is good. So we're getting closer and closer. Oh look, those people. Are they us? There's a magic rock. Wish we could see them. I mean, it's, I don't really know how you would determine from that that they're us. Well, they're they're they assume it's them because uh, the suits they're wearing from from uh, the suits that were designed for this mission was only made just for them, and only they have it. But then they see them sell see video footage of some other people with the suit, so they assume it's them. If this is some kind of, like, weird corporate conspiracy thing, they really messed up doing that. It's yeah. like, yeah, let's, let's leave an, an obvious calling card for them to determine that something's up. So they might, you know, turn the ship around. Which, by this like, point... Like, hey, I'm not doing this anymore. Oh, two more, two more trips there. I, I I gotta I gotta say, how many accidents can you ha have happened during the week? Well, I guess considering I know, that exactly. it's a week. Exactly. Like, what on earth is this? Like, there's, there's leaks everywhere. This this entire spaceship is just put together with like glue and duct tape. Yeah. These no. are like those. These are like those little connector blocks I used to play with as a kid. Oh, and probably built with Legos too. Legos too. Yeah, I put the Legos in there. Lego Legos stay together better than this. <laughs> oh, that's true. And if and if you try stepping on them, it hurts. Yeah, this uh, game doesn't leave us much to talk about, does it? I thought oh, it was. Go, go I, in, roll some dice, random random chance. Woohoo! Hmm. I'm surprised. I <sighs> never I did I think talented gameplay was was we're rolling them dice. Strategically rolling them dice. I'm so I'm surprised. Yeah, strategically rolling. That's it's a good it's a good point. We got it. We got to decide which ones to use. Oh well, yeah, that is the whole point of the game. Uh, I guess this this turned out to be one of those like videos that are when you're playing it, it's not it's not that bad. But when you try to yeah, talk you're about all it, the decisions you're using you're using it in your mind. But uh, I don't know. Des describing all the stuff going on in your mind isn't isn't necessarily that interesting to someone else. Hmm, this seems this seems more like a video where it would have been better if it was played live. Yeah, you know I thought there, bring, I thought if there. We're, if we're gonna do this one, we gotta bring Punch Club back. Oh oh god. <laughs> Ref Man. Reference to the record that you're you guys are probably not never going to see. Uh, probably a good chance. Man, we had more to say in Punch Club than this. Yeah, at least there are references in Punch Club. This is just. 
This is just Alex rolling I, around some bloody dice. Some I, more. You know, I bring it goes back to the whole board game thing. It's like watching someone play a board game. It's just like, well, this happens. Yeah, unless you've got like some really wacky people playing the board game. Do you mean drunk people? Well, either way. Hmm. I never would. I th never Honestly. would I have thought that uh, FTL would have had had better things to talk about than this. Well, of course it does. I mean, the, the, there we're talking about you know like a Star Wars esque universe where there's like pirates and rebels and like advanced technology and stuff like that. So here we're just, here we're just like piloting the Apollo mission, which probably would have been probably would have been even less exciting than this. Hmm. This was not thought out well, just like this trip to Mars. Just waiting. It is waiting for like stuff to happen. Months and months. And months. Like oh, doing man. exercises in zero gravity so your muscles don't atrophy. Let's see. So ten weeks. That's actually two months and roughly two months and like half a month. Two and a half months. Yeah. Running on close to a quarter of a year. Two and a half? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. So now we're almost close to the to Mars. I can just let all these all this bad event happen, too. Oh, yeah. Well, so you see the system fail thing uh, right there on yeah. the 15? You can actually not bother with that, and that's actually a, a good strat because um, then it prevents like worse events from popping up. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Right now, just fixing more. Never needed to fix the hull at all. Oh, look, just enough I dices. Think, I think that this spaceship is actually purposely designed this way in order to give the crew something to do. Because, you know, they, they, sent, <laughs> they sent crews out in space. They sent crews out in space before, and they were all like, hey, man. We this have nothing is, to do. This, what is, is, this is really fucking boring. We didn't bring enough books for this trip. <laughs> but now they just got to give them, like, constant life or death, like, Situations. But not t but not so bad that, uh... They can't survive it. Yeah, yeah there's, like, there's like a little a little bomb in the hole that's, like, just 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 go set to go off at different times to, like... Man! So they, have to, they have to solve the problem. That's terrible. Just give them some video games. Yeah, I don't know, man. The same video game for, like, two and a half months. Well, Maybe they can't spare the wattage. Well, the they... Game Seriously? I mean, you can run this entire ship for, like, months on end. I'm I'm sure they have solar panels or some shit like that. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. But you're getting farther away from the sun. They're... You get less and less solar energy. Mm, that's true. Maybe there's some other way. I mean, they have self-sufficient food making, which I don't know how they fail each time in getting it. Apparently, yeah. you have to roll dice to grow plants. So, uh, all you gardeners yep. out there, if, you're, if your plant's not, like, growing, you're not rolling. You just gotta roll some more dice. Like, 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 oh, like... is it gonna be a three? It's a three! It's a three, and three people oh, are not it. gonna starve. We got one more, we got one more food that we probably didn't need in the first place. Nope. We've They've almost made it. There's no turning back. How are you gonna get home, then? I, who knows? Apparently, this is a suicide mission. Yeah, I guess our current our current rockets is a suicide really rocket. Yeah. Okay, so here's that thing where if their stress is really high and they're all like, uh, oh, I'm gonna do something that only be that only benefits themselves and not like the whole yeah. crew, which is just really. I don't dumb. see why you'd want to save the hull to give stress to the crew. So probably just minus the tr minus some of the stress. Well, like, and remember, like I said, stress means nothing. Like, they don't go crazy to the point where they kill themselves. Exactly. Uh, I was, I was hoping they would like start sabotaging the ship, the ship themselves. Oh, see, no, that's... I, bet, I bet that's it. This is just one trickster crew member doing all this. And until I everyone... bet it's you, Yuri Navali. So, 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 are you, so are you telling me that like when they're all alone, they're gonna sabotage the ship themselves so that they kill themselves yeah, but... and then be like, hey, it's the ship's fault. Yeah, imagine it. Yuri, Yuri is like, I'm gonna be the hero here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna create these problems that no one else can solve, and and then someone else solves it anyway. And he's just like, God damn it! I it was my turn to be the hero. My turn to shine. On this mission. Yeah, it's just tragic. It didn't work out for him. Right here, I was you like, could Oh, let's plus one to the hole, but there's no problem with the hole. Exactly. So I could actually like. I could have actually gone through a whole bunch of turns where, like, if the hull was to take damage, I could have just let that slide. Yeah, this kind of does illustrate uh, why I don't like FTL all that much, because, I mean, what's what's the solution if you if you do badly at this? Like, or how, how will you succeed on higher levels? You just, like, 
I just roll the dice better, I guess. No, that's true. That's that's kind of like a one of the reasons why it kind of like aggravated me because it was just like, well, what was I supposed to do? The dice was like, fuck you. You're, I'm not letting you win this. I'm gonna let your crew member die. That's what I don't like about like all these random chance games. I'm I'm never sure, you know, when I finally do succeed after like the thousandth try. I'm never sure if it was me being good at the game that that caused it or if it was just me getting a really lucky run. Yeah, that's kind of a thing with some um Oh yeah, on this last week you have to have someone in the in like the, the contr in the command post to like drive the ship cuz apparently we've been driving without a driver. Can you imagine that? Yeah, it's odd. you'd think autopilot on a spaceship wouldn't be all that hard. Which FTL actually also had. But that was yeah. more for dodging missiles and such. Yeah, then um, that's not that hard. That's not that easy to do. No, no, I want the pilot in that system for that. Okay, damage so it's finished. Phase. Are you ready it's to see the damage face? So are you ready to see this 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 ending that we've been uh or we've been playing for so long, or I've been playing so long? The I'm to so see. ready. So they're finally on Mars. Trip to Mars. Another. Trip. Why does it? Why does everyone go to Mars? Why not Venus? Isn't that closer to the sun where it's hotter? Yeah, it's and Venus is also a very toxic atmosphere. Yeah. I'm yeah. Go to Jupiter. Try to like. How about samples from the? How about of Jupiter, Uranus? Or something like that. Yeah, even there. We traveled through the horror. Not sure if anyone made it. So, the whole end of the story is that there's a magic rock. On Mars. There's a magic rock. Are you serious? It's a magic rock on Mars and everyone dies anyways. It steals their soul? Something like that. They just the leave anomaly. us there hanging. The anomaly what? It okay. knew. About what? Is that really it? Yes. Amazing, oh isn't it? Oh my god. So they were being beamed messages by the anomaly the, thing? By the anomaly, and then I, I guess like it traveled through time, or sent the message through time that went back to the crew again. So they're Why like, would it, so is the rock eating them? Is that the idea? There, there's it's soul sucking them from what it looked like. So then, why on earth would it send them these messages warning them to stay away? I think it was, uh, maybe it's not so much as a warning, but curiosity. But they were already gonna go there. They don't need more curiosity. Hmm, that's true. Well, don't forget, it was a suicide mission, so they couldn't have turned back anyways. Did they call it a suicide mission? Yeah, that yeah, unlike, like, it was supposed to be? on, like, the second to last week, it's like, it's a, this is such a suicide mission. But then again, I guess it always was a suicide mission. Oh, well. Darn. Well, Space well, corporations and their monoliths. Yeah. And also, this game was made in Unity, which I was like, ugh. Yes. Not a very intriguing game. Not a very intriguing game to talk about. Not a very intriguing story. Gameplay-wise, could get a few games out of it. Like I said, if this was like an actual board game, I might actually like it better than it being like a than uh, it being like in a video game format. I feel kind of bad for you. Yes, I did. Yes, you probably should. I feel, I feel bad for you going all the like going to all the effort to like get the right dice rolls on like a right the right run and then just to see that <sighs> several like tw 20s of times. And after beating it, yeah, I don't feel it, like playing it anymore. Aside from maybe the like, missions. It's like, oh, they all die anyway. Congratulations. Yeah, so... You, uh, you all won. So, so, so it's like, I can't proceed with the game. So I can't proceed with the game if I die here. But if I die later, that's okay. Yeah, that's that's victory for some reason. It's it's like if it's like those bosses they make you fight in video games that are really hard. And then at the end, it's just like, oh, you, oh your character lost anyway. Or, just don't make me play the... The thing. Or what about like uh, like in Call of Duty where it's like, a, oh, your characters were supposed to die, but they died a little too early, so we're not counting that. Yeah, that doesn't really make any sense. Like, there's no reason why you had to have died specifically. Gotten, yeah, like why you had to have gotten farther because it doesn't make any difference in the context of the story at all. 
Like, for, like it's like nobody knows if they if like the crew members die. Earth doesn't go like, "Hello, is anyone still there?" Yeah, it, and you didn't even accomplish anything. Like, even if you were gonna die anyway, if you had accomplished something, it would have been different. But no, that's at least for the audience. At least for the audience, it would have been something. But uh, yeah, that was what you would consider a complete waste of time. Well, I'm I'm glad you, I'm glad you've been uh, I'm glad you've been talking to me about doing this for so long. I'm I feel like for quite a while. I feel I feel like a new man after having seen that ending. Okay, but on like but on another note, as a as like as a game, I was intrigued by it and I uh, and I liked it. But after one game, that's it's that's just it. This is a one ticket, one trick pony. Well, well that was uh. That was Tharsis. That was something. So, uh, next time are we gonna see something about guns? Um, well, maybe. Which, speaking of which, the next video, next game I'll be doing is probably, is, is one that involves guns as well. Or maybe it'll actually be an adventure game where we can actually talk about stuff. Yeah, well, yeah, we'll so see. See you all later, if this Stay video tuned. ever gets out. <laughs>